it's time for the greatest athleticism you've ever seen in your life. The professionals are quaking in their boots. With the many videos out there of people that excel in their sport, there's a series as it is now time to watch me suck at bowling. Welcome to the second week of January 2021's edition of Watch Me Suck at Bowling, coming to you from Mason Bowling Center in Leominster, Massachusetts. The first game was surprisingly not all that bad at all. We got a 98 with a couple of fills, and each one was actually a strike, which is even more interesting. So how will this game go? Will it be better? Will it have fewer strikes? Being Mason's, probably so. But how will it go? We'll find out after I tell you that. Watch Me Suck at Bowling is proud to sponsor the hit Candlepin TV show, King of the Palace, where you can see much better bowling. Type King of the Palace in the YouTube search bar and watch the heart's content. If you like what you see, go to youtube.com slash newpalacelanes. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to see new videos as they come along. And now, something quite a bit less than King of the Palace. Freeman Bowen. Until the jukebox is done playing, some of the audio will be muted. Ball two. So far, not that bad of a start. Just two to go. Ball three, best we can do is nine. Since that ball went into the gutter first, that pin did not count. Close but no cigar, and that'll be eight. For those of you who like the pin setters, here's the Bullmore doing something I couldn't do. Clear the deck. There's all the pins gone. Here comes a fresh set of ten. And there you go. Frame two, but one. Not a bad start in spite of that second ball taking out a pin. Ball two. The one, three, six, and nine. Should be fairly easy, but look who's trying. Ball three. Again, pretty close, but nope. Eight at worst case. And eight it shall be. There were a lot of close moments there, and a gutter ball that kind of wrecked it slightly. We got a pair of eight so far for a total of 16. Fifty ball one. Although things are going okay, we're hoping that things get a little bit better. Ball two. It's so easy to get rid of those corner triangles when seven of their other friends are still there. Great shot for the spare. Frame full, ball one, El Stinko. What will the bonus be? Hopefully as good as this game's been going so far. El Stinko stinks with a one fill. Ball two. Since El Stinko lived up to its name, let's see if we can recover from that. With bad fills comes bad company. Ball three, curse of the fill. Or is it possible that we can recover from this? It's pretty difficult. Now that is a recovery. Niner. There was more good than bad in this set. We got the spare in three and a nine in four. Unfortunately, the bad part is the first ball only took down one, making that fill 36. Three, five, four, one. So far, we're on par with an average I would like to achieve. Ball two. Gotta watch the lobbing. That almost went over the line. Ball three. Everything went around the eight pin. 
can we get it ourselves? We did for the 10. Frame 6, ball 1. That was a nice 10. Let's see if we can get 10 with just one or two balls. Ball 2. That's a bit of an ugly leave. That piece of wood can only help with the 8 pin. Ball three, you know the deal. Yep, you know what that banner says. Let's see if we can pick it up. Once again, pretty close, but another nine. Those two frames weren't all that bad. We got a ten and five and a nine and six. Still a pretty decent game at 55. Frame seven, ball one. Still keeping up a decent performance. Let's see if that continues. Ball two, the jukebox is done playing. Back to audio. Ball three. I'll take the eight. Frame eight ball one. Ball two. Ball three. Keep going down the hill, that's a seven. The bad news is we're still going downhill a little bit. The good news is with the eight and the seven, and that's seven and eight, we're already at 70 to hit minimal uh, minimal acceptance and uh, minimal average scalability according to high CBA standards for casual league bowlers on record. We just need 10 more points and we'll be okay. Frame nine, ball one. Ball two, a lot of ugly cat pieces. I'm looking at where I'm pointing, not at the camera lens, obviously. Maybe. Well, the other one should have worked. There you are. That's a spare. Last frame, ball one. El Stinko, the bonus ball. What will the bonus be? We got a lovely one the last time we had a spare fill. And that'll be a goose egg because that was logged. As I've said many a times, and by ICBA compliance, the final result is determined by the final judge, ultimately. In this case, it's the editing of this video. So, on the first ball, it appeared that it was lobbed, but upon review, it was just inches before the line. So that one pin that was knocked down did count. Unfortunately, because the thing was reset, that means that ends the frame. Premature reset. So one is all we get for the 10. So the spare pretty much is that one fill and it ends with an 82. That wraps up week two of four for the month of January 2021's edition of Watch Me Suck It Bowling. From Mason's Bowling Center in Lemonster, Massachusetts, this is George F551 saying hope you enjoyed and have a good one.